वेलकम टू नेचर बुक रिव्यू अ वीडियो शोकेसिंग बुक्स ऑन नेचर एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ ऑफ यू फोबिया फियर ऑफ स्नेक्स इट इज पॉसिबली बिकॉज ऑफ द डेथ कॉज बाय द स्नेक बाइट एक्चुअली देर आर वेरी फ्यू वेनोम स्नेक्स विच कॉज डेथ एनी वेज पाइथन्स एंड बोआस इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ स्नेक्स विच आर द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट लार्जेस्ट एंड द हैवीएस्ट दे आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू आउट द ट्रॉपिक्स एंड सब ट्रॉपिक्स In spite of their size they are very agile swimmers they can climb trees and when they are moving on the ground they can literally walk on their belly muscles because of their heavy weight now there's a book called as the pythons and boas by peter stafford now i should tell you that this book has been written in 1982 and the book is focused on the hobbyist keepers of the snakes i mean when you have a python and boa how to keep it in a vivarium but anyway this book also tells you something about the morphology anatomy and the natural history of the pythons and boas pythons and boas by peter stafford contains over 110 full color photos on the front page you will see a albino morph of a green python uh okay so this is a tfh publication a uh, logo go given over here now i told you this book is about the hobbyist keepers so the author have given some disclaimer over here i'll go through it the author feels strongly that in case of the wild caught specimens pythons and boas should be kept only as a part of planned captive captive breeding programs due to the destruction of habitat and over collecting for the skin trade they are becoming too rare in nature to be kept merely as interesting pets their very size and often irascible temperament also argue against them being handled by inexperienced persons pictures of the models with large snakes in this book were taken under the supervision of experienced handlers and do not represent the way in which most large snakes should be handled so here is the next is the immediately photograph about which author was uh, disclaiming okay so these are the contents so there is a forward acknowledgement the first chapter is on the natural history that tells you about introduction feeding longevity movement coloration shedding general habits and enemies distribution and life cycle then next few chapters on the sub family of the uh, pythons and boas so chapter 2 is on the true pythons then 3 is on burrowing pythons 4 is on true boas 5 is on ground boas 6 is on dwarf boas chapter 7 and 8 they deal with the captive breeding keeping the boas and pythons in captivity vivarium then ninth is a informal key to the boid genera then 10th is a checklist of pythons and boas then next is citis appendix then glossary bibliography and index okay now when you are going through the book you can see the uh, the text is distributed only in the single column the font is also reasonably good size it's not very small not too very big the photographs are given uh, either full page or a half page and each photograph has been given a title and photo credit now apart with the photographs there are few line drawings which are which have been done by author himself uh, so when you move through the uh, book you will see it is a nice text the english is also very good it's not very difficult to understand uh now let's go through the chapters of captive breeding i will not go very much detail into it so how to keep snakes into the vivarium like this uh then how to take care of them then handling then of course this is very important parasites and diseases now this chapter though it deals with the captive snake you can relate it with the wild animals as well so life cycle of snakes and uh, life cycle of parasites and uh, everything has been given so the ninth chapter is informal key to the boid genera now this key may not be valid now because of the change in the nomenclature but as a baseline of course we can use it then a checklist of pythons and boas of the world you can see over here it has been distributed uh, family sub family wise name of the snake author and of course the distribution it is a very uh, good checklist you can refer to then next you come to uh, citis appendix 
then glossary which is very important because uh, for classification of snakes you should know the uh, scale nomenclature and other things then of course there's a bibliography so again i will recite that this book is good for pythons and boas to study their natural history enemies and parasites and etc